We're back. 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 <sighs> I'm so excited. Hell yeah, we have a uh... Oh. Yes, we have a Alright, I'm gonna... I'll do a little... I'll do a little shouty-outy thing. On my Discord. Mm -hmm. We're back. Hell yeah. We love it. We love it. It's back. It's wonderful. It is giving what it is supposed to give. All right. Why are you disconnecting me from my own chat room? Please, please, Twitch, make it make sense. Because it doesn't. Oh. Okay. Perfection. We're just going to keep on going. We're going to just keep on going. Let's go to the log real quick. We'll go back a couple lines in the story. All right. Let's see. It's easy enough to get lost in the system. I would just risk getting ID'd. That's strange. Ramon was convinced that Lucha wouldn't get caught in immigration. Is he just paranoid of the authorities, or were they keeping an eye out for Louise specifically for some reason? What if you wanted to avoid both, the hospitals and the immigration people? That's out of my wheelhouse, Cello, but I will find but I would find someone to smuggle me in. I'm told there's an emerging market of deep sea fishermen and boating enthusiasts who keep an eye out for boats and rescue refugees. The problem is keeping them off the radar. You've got to come to shore sometime. I'm pretty sure my client snuck out of Cuba on a boat with others, but it's worth a follow up with the guy who hired me. Thank you, Angelique. That was very helpful. 
By my count, I've got five minutes left. Can I ask you a question in my return, Miss Martinez? As long as you call me Chelo from now on. All right, Chelo, then. What are your intentions with my sweet Ethan? Oh, not my intentions with Ethan. I don't know about all that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have, uh, um, uh, he's fun to be around. Uh, a little bit of fun is all. Sure, Ethan's kind and he makes me laugh. And he's been very helpful in these cases. You know, when I started doing this private detective thing, I knew I would meet a lot of different people. I kind of expected most of them to be hostile or unhelpful. But Ethan, he actually cares. That does sound like him. And I don't mean because he's a naturally helpful person or anything. Or even because he likes me. Oh my gosh. Why are we worrying about dating? Or, or romance things like we're kind of in the middle of detective work I don't know whatever he really cares about this place and helping the people who live here I mean I asked Ethan for help just earlier today and he pointed me to you he knew the exact right person in Dade County haha <laughs> you are just as cute as he said well uh, really Whoops, gotta run. Call me if you have any more questions. Oh, I... I don't have your number. I wonder what that was all about. I'm back. We're back. Shit's back. Very excited. So yay, streams back, thank fuck, all that good stuff. Is very nice. Oh. I tried to do a little thingy. But I don't do it, f I don't really at everyone. I don't really ever like at everyone in my Discord, so. But yeah, I did a little post, so that's nice. Yay. All right. Hello. Hi, Fat Booty. How is it going? How the heck are you? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I'm glad that it posted. Uh, how you doing today, Booty? I hope you are well. What's going on? I better get back to work before I get too distracted thinking about it. Okay, tiny market, bank side. Look for leads on the broad walk. Um, let's go to, let's, ah, uh, shit. Have a great, having a great day about to eat a yummy salad. Ooh, what kind of salad? I love salads. Salads are the best. Well, I'm so glad you stopped by. It's always awesome to see you. Lo long time friend of the channel. Fat Booty is super awesome, super kind. Well, we love. <laughs> Ooh, I'm 
now you I'm glad you can draw now, Shadow. So so glad you can draw now. That can be so frustrating. It's a spinach salad with chicken, tomatoes, cheese, and croutons and Italian dressing. That sounds so fucking good. That is delicious sounding. Holy cats. Holy cats on a cracker. Which one should I do, besties? Oh my gosh, thank you. Booty, you are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for the 100 well, pride you. biddies. <laughs> you are so sweet. Thank you. Ba ba ba. Oop. And then we'll do a little bit of these. This is so weird. This this new interface on OBS is wild. Wild. It's wild, wild, wild. Are you feeling better? I am. I am feeling better. Um, I have not been having uh, the the sickness has passed. Um, but yeah, definitely feeling better. Um, I usually get to have my voice. Um, and yeah, I'm just definitely feeling better on the like. I had this really fucked up like cold for however many days yeah doing good doing good trying to get back into streaming more i am trying to do some like self-care and some self-love shit and like trying to do things that make me happy like playing a game streaming so yeah i'm very excited um Oh, shit. Fruit smoothie. I got a fruit smoothie, besties. Um... I'm gonna ask Lucy for help, but I don't know if it's the right move. Hell yes. I love a fruit smoothie besties. Oh, I'm already feeling like I made a mistake going to talk to Lucy. I don't know what, I don't know what's going to happen. There she is in the VIP section, smoking the first of two cigarettes for the day. One after breakfast and one during her break in the middle of the bar rush. The smoke curls around her bangs and then spins away into whirls and loops as she flips the page of her newspaper. At night, Lucy's bowl jewelry sparkles and jingles, and her pumps click across the bank side's dark flooring. I love seeing her during a rare moment of serenity. What she did to Melanie is still in the back of my mind. Which, like, she didn't... Our character, Cello, has some fucking issues. 
And she needs to work out the fact that nobody is responsible for Melanie's death other than the people that killed her. So we can't put somebody's death on another person like this, Chalo. We can't do this. This 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 is not giving. <laughs> it's not giving. Oh my god. But it was lonely and difficult grieving without Lucy's support. I've missed her. Hey, you. My Chelo, how much can I pay you to greet me like this every morning? That's just like her. Pretend like nothing happened and move right along. It's probably part of her coping mechanism. Hello? Then again, it's been a really emotional month. I don't want to bring down the mood, especially with Lucy trying so hard to be cheerful. Thank you. Just be nice to your friends. Damn, bestie. Fucking ridiculous. I'll do it for free. But with your hours, I don't know when you wake up. Then stay the night with me. Every night. Oh my. Ooh. Speaking of tonight, are you busy? I was hoping to work on this new case, actually. I came to ask you about... Not yet. I'm off site all day tomorrow and I insist you come here for dinner tonight. Bring a friend. I have not stuck my nose in your social life for so long and I miss meddling. I refuse to discuss anything until you invite someone over for dinner, preferably someone kind and attractive. But I... Ugh. But nothing. Lucy's expression leaves no room for argument. The nearest employee brings over a touch tone phone. I guess I'm asking someone out on a date. I am? Oh, we only have one option? We only have one option? No one? Oh my god. Uh. Talking to Tala is like turning back time. She complains about school and friend drama, about NBC canceling Remington Steel. It's a nice break in the day. A few minutes when I can stop thinking about work and money. Tala asks me to page before I call so she can make sure she's by a phone. But I'm pretty sure it's to keep her grandma from answering the phone instead. Oh, good. She's home. Hello, is this Tala? Chalo, I'm so happy to hear from you. What are you up to today? Hitting the pavement for a new case. What about you? Watching the prices right with Grandma. So if you hear any yelling, it's probably her. Do you want to hang out? Oh, my God. Actually, I was hoping you would come to dinner with me. Where? Someplace nice? Should I get a dress? Will you come shopping with me? Slow down. Slow down, please. My best friend runs the Bankside Club on the ocean side of South Beach. She told me to bring a friend to dinner. Do you want to be my date tonight? Yes, I want to be your tutor, tutor for math classes. Yeah, that sounds good. It's just a friend, grandmother. We're doing a study group. Sorry, I'm not allowed to date until I'm infinity years old. I hope Lucy doesn't give me a hard time for inviting a high schooler to out. Oh, she's a high school. Oh, no. Can I go backwards? I hate it here. Oh, I hate it here. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 
Chill out, Shalo. It's just a date. Tal has probably been on more of them than you have. Oh my god, what should I wear? When my friends and I went clubbing, Kelly got kicked out for wearing gym shoes. Ah, don't worry about it. I won't have time to change into anything fancy. Can you get a ride to the club at 8 or so? Is there a library or something nearby? Sure, I think the South Shore branch is pretty close. Grandma will drop me off at the library and I'll walk over. Great. Uh, see you there. I can't wait. I feel bad that I've got Tala sneaking around, sneaking around and lying to her grandma. So do I. Can I go backwards and fix it? Can I go back? Uh. Oh my god. Then again, Mama never let me have friends over either. I was always slipping out of the house to visit Lucy. I thought it was so unfair that she got to drive a car and stay out late. And Mickey was in bad shape back then. Not the best chaperone. Jeez, it wasn't even that long ago. I left home as soon as I graduated just so I could stop pretending to be good all the time. I wonder what Tala would say if she knew I was worrying this much. Probably, stop that. I can take care of myself. Wait, how much time have I spent thinking about Tala now? I have to get back to work. Are you happy now? I called a person, I made a date, and you'll get to be there. All of my dreams for you are coming true. Thank you for obliging me. You know I can worry about you, right? You cannot work so hard and ignore the rest of the world. It's not worthwhile to be ambitious yet lonely. Stop adding me. Lucy, fuck you. Lucy, fuck you. You cannot work so hard and ignore the rest of the world. It's not worthwhile to be ambitious yet lonely. I'll never be lonely with you around, Luciana Escobar. Dot, dot, dot. You said you had a question. Allow me to help you with your case. So, uh, you, um, you ship stuff sometimes into Miami? Consuelo, hush for a second. Trevor, Trevor. Yes, Miss Lucy. Can we get some music in here, please? Loud and with some rhythm. You got it. Continue. When my dad came to the States, he was picked up by the Coast Guard and put through immigration at Freedom Tower. Oh my God. The fact that it's called Freedom Tower makes me want to gag. But now, if you wanted to come to Miami under the radar, you know, in a boat, how would you do it? My client was supposed to meet someone becoming someone coming from Cuba. So your Cuban gets in a boat, doesn't want to be caught, but wants to find someone on shore. Right, no visa from Fidel, no amnesty from the feds. Whoops, five years ago it was easier, of course. Just show up and if you are Cuban or Haitian, the Carter administration would take you. Nowadays the blockade is stronger. The U.S. still takes immigrants, but the rules are more stringent. Under the radar, assuming you have the resources or hire a private pilot, hours flies from the Bahamas. Watch the ocean and the bay and report to us.
However, the Coast Guard is not the only peril or the worst. The sea is deep and full of sharks, and we can watch for the authorities, but not for weather or a badly constructed boat. Do you ever lose shipments that way? A dark look crosses Lucy's face, and she hesitates before she answers. Whoo! Calling people cargo. Ah. Ouch, my heart. You and I, Luciana and Consuelo, we are friends. But you know, but you and I also know that our parents would never be friends. So forgive me, please, as I tell you something that may sound callous. I forgive you. My my cousins recognized the Cuban exodus as a valuable but temporary link in the supply chain. These days importing is easier from the Bahamas or from Mexico to California. I see. You cannot guarantee that a smuggler will be able to keep a shortwave radio or a walkie-talkie. Monitoring the air and marking the boats is the only recourse we have, and the DEA watches the smuggler tags closely. Hmm. This seems outside of your area of expertise. What does this have to do with your missing person? I'm not looking for drug smugglers, if that's what you mean. Somebody was supposed to make sure this boy, Luis Ernesto, made it to shore, but he never did. Would any of your pilots have seen a little refugee boat come in or a small launch boat from Cuba? Most of ours are exclusive, but yes, there is a man, a freelancer. We do not work with him often, often because the cousin said he might be speaking to the authorities. Buddy Bailey. He is a sweet man, a retiree with his own little seaplane. He does many odd jobs and may know others in the field. Who knows? He may have seen your little boat. He gives tours from Hollywood to Virginia Key. It is likely that he is already out today, but I shall make a call for you. He docks at a small marina on Dodge Island. I'll have him meet you there tomorrow. Lucy, you are a goddess. You are an empress. I could kiss you. Oh, my Chilito, I am simply glad that I can be helpful to you. But you watch out. I may cash in these kisses someday. You have a tab running with me. Ooh, for kisses. I know it. <laughs> I'm going to check some st some of this stuff out and then maybe take a walk along the beach. I'll be back for dinner later tonight. See you then, my friend. Wow, I filled a whole notebook. Better go back to the office and drop off some stuff. It's a gummy. Hey, gummy. Thank you for the hydrate. My voice is sounding uh, raspy. How are you doing today? Oh my god, a hundred percent. I'm doing I am doing so much better. I'm I'll cough like once or twice a day. I don't have a fever anymore. I'm not experiencing the full body aches. I'm not blowing my nose every three seconds. It's like it's so good. It's so good. So 
Ooh, it's it's giving. It's giving. <laughs> You're doing okay. I am doing okay myself. Doing okay. Gonna finish this game today, probably. And then, honestly, I have been... Now that I'm, like, actually able to, like, talk and have been feeling better, um... I need to play some fucking Dead by Daylight. I, there's a lot. There's a lot. You had a Death Slinger DC on you. Incredible. There's been a lot more Death Slingers lately. Like, a lot more. Once all the, um, like, patching and stuff came out, like, there's a lot of people trying Death Slinger. Hell yes, I will. You know I will check that out. You know I will check that out, Gummy. I love that. I love that. Love, love the clippage. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba. I need to make a command. I, need to th I think I need to make a Gummy command. Do I have a pen? Oh, I'll just put it in my... I'll put it in my Discord. He couldn't catch me, and my friend gave me a syringe while running. Yes! Ha ha ha! You healed while looping? Priceless. Priceless. That's fucking so weak! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yay, I have a fruit smoothie. I'm doing good. All right, let's, um, gonna do some medicate. The Halloween med kit add-on with the syringe is hella good. Ooh. A lot of people did oh, they could be used together. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. I'll have to try that. Home, sweet home, and air conditioning. I want to get back out there, but I also want a cold drink and to get off my feet for a while. Next time we'll play, I'll bring you in one. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely been, um, like, wanting to message because it's like, I want to play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I, I need to play some Dead by Daylight. I miss it. <clears throat> awesome. Another one is if you use a green med kit instead of brown, it will kick it a lot faster. Fuck yeah.
<laughs> Thank you, Gummy. Holy fucking shit. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Please. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I do specifically have that emote so people can spam it. I might I might make it a follower. I think I need to make it a follower emote if it's not already. Um because it's yes it's a it's a very good thing that like i i made the emote so people could spam it because i do this all the time you've been muted a whole dvd match i oh my god it's such a mood it's such a mood i hate this chair this chair is garbage all right. <sighs> it's so ridiculous. It is a full body happiness that you can't get anywhere else. Let me, uh, let me go back real quick. All right. <clears throat> Um, ba, 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 ba. All right. Home sweet home and air conditioning. I want to get back out there, but I also want a cold drink and to get off my feet for a while. Hmm. New, mo new notebooks, notebooks, notebooks. And I also have to make sure that I don't lose the notes from the one I'm using now. It's really nice to get out of the heat even for just a second. I don't have time to dawdle if I am going to make it to dinner on time. Where to next? <clears throat> so we picked to go look for people on the Miami Broadwalk because the other one was talking to like our landlady who also like uh, we failed to find her daughter. Um, and I feel really bad about it. And so I'm not, I chose to go look on the, the, um, broad walk. Um, so now, yeah, now we are here in this, in this beautiful area on the broad walk. Um, I went to New York on a class field trip. I liked it, but the air felt wrong. The sun didn't seem as bright. Outside along the Miami Broadwalk, the sun is a warm blanket covering my whole body. Sweat doesn't bead on your skin here. It wraps around you. It makes you sticky in the city and cool near the sea. The Florida sun wants you to dive into the ocean or bake along the shore. It makes your bones feel warm and your joints loose. That sounds so weird. That sounds so weird. <laughs> but she says it is a full body happiness that you can't get anywhere else. I will take your word for it. Never. Well, no, I have been. I've been to like of the very tip of Florida where I was touching other, um, other States, but like, I've never spent time there. It sounds too hot and scary. Uh, it says unwelcome voice. Unwelcome voice. Hey, mommy. Um, I don't, I don't know what this means. Um, 
Ignore. Didn't you hear me? I was talking to you. Chica, hello. Jeez, lad, you are ruining the beach. Wait. I heard you got arrested. Why aren't you in jail with the rest of the scumbags? Ooh. Hi, Nysterics. How are you doing today? How are you? Whoops. Uh, I hate that the music stops every time I tab out. Okay, cojones equals ballsy. So it would have been like, like, hey, ballsy dude, <laughs> sort of situation. Yay, I'm, de I'm glad you are doing good. I am doing good as well. Um, I have been learning lots of uh, just learning how to learning how to um say names um and learning terminology because i am ridiculously white and i do not know spanish um which is a fucking really sad thing but i'm working on it so yeah i'm learning lots <laughs> not ridiculous oh no i just it's yeah no i am like that's that's uh, you know unfortunately unfortunately i obviously try to educate myself where i can and the diversity in this game is one of the reasons why i wanted to play it cuz it's like i don't know about any of this and plus you know i'm just trying to learn uh, especially like vocabulary <laughs> so yeah it's I also, this game has been great, um, but also weird. I don't know. It's so good. <laughs> okay. So like, oh my gosh, we're like a bad, we're like a bad detective sometimes. Hello? Why aren't you at summer camp for only bitches? Hello? Why is... I mean, you're just mad because I shut down your hustle? Okay, so this was like the drug dealer from the the first missing persons case? I think this is the drug dealer from the first missing persons case. Oh, I can go to our notebook. Okay. So, <laughs> what are... What our notebook says about Jed Powers. He is a scumbag and a criminal who cons tourists out of money. I wish his information weren't so useful. Mmm. Fuck. Why are we... Why are... I should have... Oh my god. Why are we talking to him? I'm an opportunist in the land of opportunity, senorita. I'm doing crimes that don't have names yet. I'm doing crimes that don't have names yet. <laughs> but in this case, I shared some... Yes, there we go. Fuck you, Automod. Oh my god. I I literally can't with Automod. And I've also like I've also turned it off and like limited it in like every way and I'm just I hate Automod. I hate Automod so much. <sighs> I'm sure one day soon I'll do another Twitch do better rant because I literally can't with this fucking platform. Like, oh, the term fucks, F-U-X, that gets auto-modded, but my 
friends getting called actual fucking slurs are are not that stuff is going through auto mod make it make sense twitch make it make sense oh right it doesn't <laughs> like twitch fuck you do better for fuck's sake <laughs> Ah, good job, Twitch. Yes, yes. We love the sarcasm. Seriously. Twitch, grr, you make me grr. Twitch, you make me angry. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so, of course, Jed was a rat. And... Probably sold someone out to the cops and then they released him on a courtesy. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> What's a word for the mixture of disappointment and rage that I feel right now? Jed? <laughs> Not him outing himself like that? <laughs> What's a word for the mixture of disappointment and rage that I feel right now? And Jed's like, Jed, literally me. The word for that is me. Anyways, Scram, I'm a legitimate businessman and you're blocking my place of legitimate business. <gasps> he has a fanny pack. I don't know if I noticed this before, but he has a fanny pack. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Get out of here before you ruin someone else's day. I'm sorry to just say this, but... You might be the exact kind of snitch I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Damn! Hey, keep your voice down. Also, why would I help you for any reason whatsoever? The kindness of your heart? Question mark? <laughs> Try again. Money? Probably money. How about real cash that you could spend on goods and services? And what would I have to do to earn your so-called cash? Question mark. Just answer some questions about the beach. You're out here all the time. And... I still need to get a fanny pack that I can wear around town. Fanny pack is greater than backpack. I, I agree with you. I would love a fanny pack. I never had one back in the day. But... I love like a shoulder bag or like a crossbody bag, something that's like just actually comfortable and easy to use, especially since I walk with a cane um, and or a walker, like uh, at least 100% of the time. Um, it's obviously not a problem really if you're in a wheelchair, but like if I, I'm walking with my cane constantly, Having like some sort of like a fanny pack or like a crossbody fanny pack, those are so useful. So useful. What? You have a mini ghost face backpack? What? Okay. G uh, gummy, I'm going to need photographic pictures of this amazing sounding backpack. If you want, please, please share them. All right. <laughs> Do I want to know what my cat's doing? Oh, I already know what it is. Never mind. I'm looking for someone with a comprehensive idea of what happens on the beach with an eye for detail. What'll you give me for my help? 
And what can I get from you just for fun? I'm, I, uh, I have nothing. Oh, whoops. I have got nothing for you. Then I reckon I've got nothing to tell you. I reckon you'd rather talk to the cops. Oh, snitching. Scram and get, you righteous beat. That's not how you started this conversation. You hollered at me. Biggest regret of my life. How do I undo this whole thing? You could tell me how an immigrant could get to shore without being caught by the Coast Guard or cops. I know. I know. You just... You're fine. You don't have to yell at me just because you are gross. Whisper, come here. I don't know. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't know. I think you're going to be okay, Whisper. You seemed like you were doing okay. All right. <laughs> this silly cat of mine. Oh, my God. I could tell you to fuck off again. You're just going to keep standing there, aren't you? I suppose if you have the case, you could hire a spotter, a freelance pilot who'll look for a specific boat from the sky. And if you don't have money, who cares? That's incredibly cold. I only deal with people who have more spare cash than common sense. And there's no reason rich folks would take a boat when you can pay for something safer. You know, that's a good point. Maybe this person, like, maybe the dad's not rich. Like, maybe getting his son, like, maybe getting his son he wasn't able to. Take some advice, Chalo. If you're sure, if you, you're sure you're not the criminal, then you've got to be the mark. Don't trust the guy who put you on this path. Now get out of here. You're in my son. What was that? For my sanity, I'm going to stop thinking about it. I hope Jed's word is good, though. I really need a lead on this case. Oh, my God. I have 30 minutes to get out of my street clothes over the bridge and fight through South Beach traffic. Oh, dang. Beep, beep. Welcome to dinner. Haha, -ha, thank you. Luciana. Escobar, may I introduce you to Tala Nasari? Tala, you might actually recognize Lucy from the old band. Tala? Tala, are you okay? There seems to be something wrong with your date.
you, you're both here. Like, right here, right in front of me. This is the greatest. Oh, there she goes. Lucy Mitawa. Lucy Escobar, I have so many questions for you. Did you write the lyrics for Death by Lipstick? What was the inspiration behind Paralyze? Do you still sell the original EPs? I am afraid you might remember more about the band than I do. Damn. Let me think. Death by Lipstick was a Georgia song, but I helped her with the line, Poison me with kisses, kill me with your love. Paralyze was written after I turned down three invites to the prom because I was waiting for the wrong person to ask me out. Oh my gosh. That's adorable and so dorky and weird. <laughs> I love this game. Chelo and I ended up going together because neither of us had dates. And I'm not sure if I have any of the tapes handy, but I know my father has some in his office. We only made a hundred or so. Too bad Georgia has the master. <laughs> she was always the most responsible. Hell yeah, screenshots of the ghosty bag in Discord. Yay. Excite. This is the greatest. Tala, maybe you should sit down before you pass out or something. She should pass out. She's in the presence of international stardom after all. The tank tops are globally famous. Your dad sent the cassette to your Colombian relatives. Do that doesn't count. <laughs> it does too. More importantly, why aren't we listening to the EP right now? I mean, thank you for bringing me out to dinner, Chalo, but could we... Wait, no. I've totally ruined this special date you planned. I'm sorry. My dear, I have been on many dates, and I see them every night right here. A date is any night where two people get to have fun together. Are you sure? Is this okay, Chelo? Let's have a good time tonight. Assuming it's okay with Lucy. I will speak with the DJ. And yes. I think Papa has the EP lying around in the back office. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> it's probably Papa. Ooh, can I do it? Sure, go ahead. She is awfully young. I uh, I know. They wouldn't let they wouldn't let me tell they wouldn't let me take back the invite. I don't, I don't think that works, Chalo. I don't think that works as a thing. Oh, well, she's old enough to be in the club. I don't think that's not. Mm -mm. I know. She was carted at the door, after all. But let me rephrase. Is she too young for you, Chalito? We're having a nice night out Lucy that's it I wanted you to meet her and I'm trying to watch your back is all you cannot be angry with me for caring and honestly like we really need to chill out yes hello
besides, I like her. You look very happy, but I want you to be wary. How old sh is she? What does her mother think? What does your mother think? This is what others will say. Really? Others will ask? And you're judging me now? So what? I can be ready for when these come at me and worse. Now, what I meant, uh, why are we taking, why are we taking anger and frustration out on our friend? Like, why are we doing this? Like, honestly, we don't treat Lucy well, and it's kind of pissing me off. Like, we're not treating our friend well. Like, Lucy and I have been friends for fucking ever, and we can't treat her better than this? <clears throat> like, we need to treat her better than this. This is fucking garbage. Shayla asks, then what do you mean? Tell me you are not asking out a young, naive girl because your job is stressful and you want a relationship that is simple. At least simpler than dating someone your own age. Someone like you. Also not what I meant. Tala reminds me that four years ago, I didn't know my destiny either. And I was still watching my life take shape around me. And she's so happy about it. Like, she can still make it anything of herself, and so can I. It's strange to have that feeling. Do you really think you can be another kind of person, not a detective? Sometimes doing this job feels so natural that I forget that I can just stop. But at least I can pause once in a while and see what I'm like when I'm not working. We found the EP. Ooh, we found the EP. Is everything okay? Did I interrupt something? Nope, you are just in time. Shayla was saying that it's been a long, long time since she hit the dance floor. No, no, what? No, I, I didn't say that. <gasps> Come on, let's go dancing. Tala knows all of the words to our old songs, and we take over the bank side singing loud girl songs and making a mess. This is so cute. Look at us. Look at us having, having a good time. I laugh harder than I have since high school. Sometimes I turn around expecting Georgia and Melanie to be there with us. I am going to kidnap you, Lucy says to Tala. You will stay at my house and make me feel young forever. Oh my gosh. She winks at me as she says that I get the feeling Lucy really likes Tala. Or maybe she just likes being treated like a pop star. Tala takes my hand and kisses me on the cheek. I have to pretend to be at the library. She makes me feel younger too. I don't know about all this. Why are we getting fucking knocked on? <laughs> what time is it? 4 a.m. Mrs. Woon might be up, but... Fuck, okay. Sorry, okay, I'm coming. Hold on a second while I get dressed. Holy ass titty fuck balls. Ramon, you did not have to fucking 5 0 pound on the door. Jesus. This game jump scares me with the weirdest fucking shit. Like the door knocking and the phone ringing randomly. Constantly getting jump scared by this game. It's very silly. Okay, Ramon says, Thank goodness you're awake. What is that smell? Have you been drinking? 
Yes, no, I mean, I was out late. And what are you doing here this early anyhow? We did not hire you to fool around, Miss Martinez. If you insist on wasting Lucho's time, I will take my business elsewhere. I feel the resentment and embarrassment rise up in me. He paid for my detective skills. He doesn't get to dictate what I do with every hour of my day. Then again, maybe I shouldn't have gone on that date. It's the middle of a case, and I promised my best work. It hits me hard. Anytime I'm not working, Lucho could be in danger. But that also means I need to get my shit together now. No sense in fighting with Ramon if he wastes more precious time. There's no need for that. Tell me what happened. Listen. Ramon produces a cassette tape, the type that fits into an answering machine. Okay. Before he presses play, he looks at my face, maybe to see if I'm paying attention. I am. Unknown voice to the answering machine. Oh, God. Unknown voice says... We have the boy. Um, now? My name is Louise. Today is Saturday, June 5th. I am healthy. I swear to fuck. That's him. That's Lucho. That's enough. You will bring 50,000 US dollars to the corner of 8th Street and 9th Avenue. Wait by the payphone on the southwest corner for instructions on how to make the trade. The call will come only once at 7 p.m. tonight. No cops will be watching. The fuck? Did you hear that sound on the recording? Like a heavy wind and maybe ocean waves? So the kidnappers were near the water but not around any people. There are some isolated beaches further south along the coast. Maybe that's where they're keeping him. Do you think he's all right, Louis? That depends. Can your employer afford $50,000 for a ransom? I'm guessing not. I'll make some calls. If the bank's open at 8 a.m., it's possible. I've never, ever seen $50,000... How big does your bag need to be? Can that fit in a briefcase? How heavy is $50,000? Get the money ready. My brother has offered to help. So we'll watch you make the drop and try to spot the kidnappers. Do you think that Lucho is already dead? I think we need to find where they're keeping him. They went out of their way to show you... Uh, Luis, S Luis Ernesto is alive. Then why wouldn't they make a trade? Tell me. Is your employer able to put together more than 50k? You think this is just one of many ransoms? Fuck. I know the neighborhood Ramon it's public and it's Cuban. No one would bring a scared, kidnapped child into La Sagu Sagusera. That is not what it is. Oop, let me go to the log. Um, uh, um pronunciation pronunciation Sawaro Sawaro No, I don't like that one. I like the actual like here's how to pronounce some shit. Sawaro. 
Sawaro, okay. Interesting, okay. La so Sagusara. I definitely looked up the wrong word. I will have to look that up again. Maybe their instructions will, we will lead you to Lucho, but I want to plan for the worst. I know you want to keep the circle small, but can I recruit my brother Mickey to help? Is he reliable? Well, now my feelings are really hurt. My behavior damaged Mick has my behavior damaged Mickey's reputation. He can keep a secret and I trust him with my life. I vouch for him. One of these things is strictly true, but I covered for Mickey a ton when we were a kid. He owes me a favor. Hi. Very well, bring him in. Thanks. We'll keep an eye on you tonight. When the kidnappers contact you, do whatever they say. My brother and I will follow the money. Make sure to ask for proof that Louis Ernesto is still alive, okay? We'll find him, I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's your little fort area. It's just for you. Yeah. <laughs> she is being very silly. Hi, it's it's there just for you. Yep, it's there just for you. Yeah. 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 There you go. She likes to have like a little tent. Oh my god, this cat of mine is adorable. Holy shit, she's so cute. I'm dead. I I believe you. Shall I meet you here tonight? It's a lot of money at a busy intersection. I think you should arrive on your own just in case the kidnappers are watching. All right. Thank you, Consuelo. For Luis's sake, I need to learn more about these kidnappers. Good thing I got such an early start. The sun's going to come out soon, and it'll be another steamy day. But if I'm up, I'm ready. I think that today is going to be productive. I even have time to grab some breakfast before my first stop. Let's do this. Oh, um... Well, do I get the sandwich at the time, tiny market? It's too late to catch up with Ramon, but maybe there's a trace of him on Miss Woon's security cameras. Miss Woon, can I take a look at your... Whoa, what is that smell? Gabriella from Two Doors Down, they had a party last night, and she brought some leftovers to share. This is her cousin's pulled pork. 
Can I try some? I have to try some. Sure, I'll put it on the hot plate. But of course, four customers and a delivery person choose that exact moment to walk in. Miss Woon stops to talk each one. Funny. I normally think of her as a stoic, deadpan sort of lady, but she knows each person's name and asks after their families. I browsed the personal ads on her tack board for a while until she returns. Sorry about that. Your sandwich is on the griddle. What did you want to ask me? Do you, the, do you remember the man who was in here this morning? Tall with swooshy hair. Yes, I recall the man. He used our phone for a long time and to call long distance. Mrs. Mr. Woon wants to bill you for the minutes. Ah. So who is this new Hanson? <coughs> who is this new handsome gentleman? A boyfriend? No, he is a new client. New client. Yes. Does this new client have a name? Ramon Benitez. I've heard the name. Uh, Dominica, who runs the shop on 21st. She said that handsome Mr. Benitez started renting a room in her building just this week. I'm glad you're not dating then. Dominica's son says he's a strange guy. I mean, there's not harmful in being strange haha <laughs> strange strange how and how is Dominica's son I haven't seen them since wow it's been a while he's struggling in school but mr. Uh, mr. Gutierrez has been paying him for deliveries his mama is just happy there's a good job waiting for him Dominica says that Mr. Benitez does not work, but he gets food delivered to him all the time. His apartment was unfurnished, but the only things he moved in were a small writing desk, a lamp, and a very expensive telephone. I guess he's not planning to stay in Miami. That makes sense. He said he works for an employer in Cuba. I don't think he'll return after this job, though. It feels like he's trying to stay off everyone's radar. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would do. See, suspicious. Oh, goodness. This is so funny. Elena. Wait, Laundromat Elena or Rosa and Yolanda's mom Elena? Mom Elena, she said that this man, Mr. Benitez, has not contacted a single family member, and he hasn't contacted any of the assistance groups. Assistance groups for what? And how would Elena know all of this? Uh... The man is independently wealthy. The food he orders, she says she can hear the delivery man when he drops off the bags. They're extravagant. Okay. Open notebook for more details. You can't blame her for being a little curious, can you? She's been checking in to see if he's married or not. No ring, we think. Oh my gosh, y'all. Jeez, Miss Woon, I was hoping to track down more information about Mr. Benitez, but your spy network has done all the legwork for me. All I do is listen, and I know the neighborhood well. If Little Havana knows something, Miss Woon knows it too. I don't know, Miss Woon, it seems a little gossipy to me. Consuelo, as a detective, you're in the business of information gathering. And you shouldn't dismiss information just because you think the source is frivolous or silly. She is not wrong. Mrs. Woon gets it. Mrs. Woon understands. I love this. 
knowing the latest news in the community is going to help you with this case and you should thank me for keeping up with it in fact i'm going to charge you a fee a consultant's fee plus expenses come on what expenses do i owe you miss woon a long distance bill for one and you will owe me for putting this delicious pulled pork on a sandwich bun I'll charge extra for Gabriella's contribution. Here, does it taste good? Let me try. Oh my God, it's so good. How about once this case is done, I stop by and thank Gabriella myself and Dominica and both Elena's. Tell you what, I'll talk to the Vols about throwing a block party next Friday. Oh, fun. Perhaps you'll find time in your schedule to come have some food and say hello to everyone. Maybe you'll drum up some business for your detective service as well. That sounds amazing, could you? Consuelo, crumbs. Oops, sorry. I better get back to work, but you've been a huge help. If you see Dominica, thank her for the sandwich, please. And can you tell me if Dominica or Elena or anyone find out more about Mr. Benitez? Sure. Ramon's story has a bunch of holes in it, but it doesn't seem relevant to Louise's disappearance. Right now, that's a distraction. I better refocus on the case itself. Meet the flyover pilot, buddy. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. How do I do this? Um, so we've got a pilot. Ramon Benitez isn't who he claims to be, and he's acting really suspicious. Is it relevant, though? I don't know. I love this. Okay. Uh, we are going to take another quick BRB. Um, and then we're going to do more, more, more of this. More Ghosts of Miami. Oh, doing a little break.
Oh. Okay, I'm back. We're back. Let me change screens, maybe. Okay. There we go. Hell yeah. I had some mango in my smoothie. It was very good. Okay. So we're meeting the pilot. We're meeting the pilot. The message said to meet here. The message said to meet here. I know Richard's office is nearby, but the rest of Dodge Island is a mystery to me, and I'm already lost in the maze of storage containers and warehouses. Okay, this is the right way, but... Oh, a seaplane? I wish I had a friend with me, but at least I'm in the right place. Hello, is anyone out here? The older man. That's that's his name. Hola, senorita. How can I help you? I'm looking for a pilot named Buddy Bailey. I heard his plane was out here somehow. Or out here somewhere. Oh, uh, you never got notified that I was back online. Welp. GG's Twitch. That's very rude. Twitch is wild. <clears throat> All right. Who's looking for Buddy? I'm Chelo Martinez. I'm a private investigator. Got ID on you? You can see my driver's license, but I'm not a licensed PI with the state yet. No, thanks. I'll tell him you came by, miss. Wait. Luciana Escobar told me I could find Mr. Bailey here. I'm looking for a little boy named Luis Ernesto. He's in trouble. Don't know him. Can't find buddy. Can't find your kid. Not much of a detective, are you? Oh! Um... I 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh. Did you not hear me? Lucy Escobar sent me here to find Mrs. Bailey. Mr. Bailey, what do you think will happen if I go back empty-handed? I don't much care for your tone, kid, and I care even less for the name Escobar. Buddy ain't here. You run back up the beach and wrap me out to Don Pablo himself. I don't give a damn. Whoop. Can't win them all, I guess. I'll shake this off with a snack and then get back to the case. Okay. Time to meet Mickey. Oh. And I accidentally clicked through it. Time to meet Mickey. Can't believe that I'm actually excited to see my brother. I return home with time to spare. Mickey said he would pick me up at five and then we can leave our for our sibling investigation. Uh, but then it's six with no word from Mickey. And then it's 6.15. And then 6.30. Uh, <laughs> Finally. Hey, little sister. I hope you're ready to. Where the hell have you been? I've been waiting for an hour and a half with no word. I promised Ramon that we'd watch over his ransom drop at 7. And we still have to get across all of Little Havana to get there. This is just like you, Mickey. Come on, sis. This was my first free day in a month, and I had a ton of errands to run. As a matter of fact... Oh, no. You can tell me when we get to the car and on the road. Yes, ma'am. I know you're thinking, boy, my big dumb brother is the worst, but... I really need your patience right now, Consuelo. Can we make one last stop before we go to your meeting? It's on the way and the store will be closed after we're done. Today of all days. We're on the errand. You're right. I know you're working as hard as I am, if not harder. And I always think my work is more noble than yours. But you're the one calling Mama and me and making sure we're okay, and I really appreciate it. Even if it doesn't seem that way sometimes, I know I can't do this without your support. I never stop to think that maybe you need mine too. Damn. I am the big brother, but families only work if everyone chips in. Okay, so what's this errand? Chalito, Mama ordered a birthday cake for you. We were hoping you could have it today, but it'll keep. Is it from Abuela Issa's shop? You'll have to come find out. What, we're picking up the cake right now? I can't even look at it? Are you a birthday girl yet? Uh, I, I'm not a birthday girl yet, but tomorrow. Wow, I've been working so hard that I almost completely forgot. Is that sad, my Mickey? A little, but it's okay. Just leave tomorrow night open and you'll get to see what kind of cake Mama ordered for your 24th. Just a quick stop and then I promise we'll take you, we'll make your ransom thing. Jeez, that feels weird to say. I wish you would play it just a bit safer, little sister. Yeah, I really think we should be playing it a lot fucking safer than we are. We are, we are, uh, like, we're going around asking people questions. We're not being subtle. Like, oh my God. We just talk about things in the open. Like, we're threatening people. Like.
I often forget my birthday. Super valid. <laughs> Super valid, Ash. I forget certain things like that, too. It's just like, oh, that's a day that happens in the year. <gasps> Getting ready for work. I love you. Love you super much, boo-boo. Thanks for saying hi. I hope work goes good. Make sure you message us about it. I will be extra careful. I want that fucking cake. Yes, they are here. Then they are absolutely here. Hell yeah. One of the best, one of the best kiddos I could ever have little must must dream must dream awesome friend um boo boo kitty faku um if you haven't checked them out uh, you absolutely should they are a badass vtuber and they're they haven't popped out yet but they are going to be returning back to twitch where they're going to be vtubing it up so get ready Prepare your fucking butts, because once they're up and streaming again, everybody will know about it. <laughs> so, ooh, Aunt Boo Boo, we gotta play more Dead by Daylight. We need to get you playing more Dead by Daylight, Boo Boo. Rings hands. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 dead by daylight. Every day of my whole life, dead by daylight. Okay, we're on a stakeout. I'm supposed to be serious. <laughs> All right. We make it with just enough time to spare. I scanned the intersection and scribble down some observations in my notebook. As my chair just keeps getting lower and lower. There's two older men sharing a bottle in a paper bag. They look like locals. Someone loiters at the corner for a little too long, but he's waiting for a date. A very pregnant woman in a blue house dress is using the payphone, so hopefully the call hasn't come yet. There is Ramon right on time. He looks nervous. I would be too, I guess. I think this is just one of many ransom payments they're going to extort him for. You think he'll be alright on his own? I mean fucking hope so well he's not cool and collected like the Martinez kids but I'm sure he'll be fine the woman's leaving the phone's ringing he's walking up to the booth ah I see him he's handsome Shalo, does this something seem a little off about all this? I've never kidnapped anyone before, but I wouldn't arrange a drop during rush hour at a crowded intersection. I have a feeling you're right, but let's see what happens. He's taking the call and leaving the brief briefcase. God, do you really think there's 50k in there? I've never even seen that kind of cash. Yeah, me neither. I, Little Havana is pretty busy at this time of night. There has to be someone ready to pick up the briefcase. I wouldn't leave it unguarded on a street like this. Right, so what do we know about these kidnappers? One of them stays with Lucho, relays instructions over the phone, and they must know Ramon. They reached him by phone. 
You know, if I were trying to get a briefcase full of cash from someone, I would jump them in a parking lot. Mickey! I said if. It just sounds like... Wait, stop a second. Is Ramon... Is he coming over here? I'm glad you have a car, Miss Martinez. I need to get f to Fort Lauderdale immediately. What? Lucho will be there. Chelo, look, someone's taking the briefcase. He's getting into that Dodge pickup, the ugly blue one. Oh, I almost forgot. Hi, I'm Mickey Martinez. Ramon Benita Benitez. Please. Consuelo, we need to go north. Luis will be there. My gut says to follow the money. Chelo, we'll lose that truck if we wait too long. I don't know what to do. Um. Like, what I want to do is drive to Fort Lauderdale. Like, I want to find the kid. Oh, my God. Should I follow the truck or go to Fort Lauderdale? Oh my God, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I have to, right? I have to go there. Fuck, hold on.
Testing, testing, trying to be quiet a little bit, because I'm coming back from being gone for forever. <laughs> um, ta-da, maybe, ta-da, there we go, okay, you know, Sometimes you get a phone call that you have to fucking answer, and that is what happened. So, um, apologies for the random chunk of, um, chunk of time there, uh, but yes, that was a very good phone call, and it had to do with some of my medical stuff, so random phone call that I absolutely had to answer, but we're back, and we're going to fucking Fort Lauderdale, baby. And we're trying to save a fucking kid. And we will. I swear to God, if we don't save this fucking kid, I'm restarting the game over and I'm going to do it again. (laughs) Okay, I'm back. I am a clean boo-boo. Hell yeah. I love that for you. I am rocking that. I'm rocking that life as well. The clean life. Other than this. This needs to be shaved. I need to shave my head because it's annoying. Oh, it's annoying. I hatred it. Okay. I'm going to do a hydrate. And then we're going to go save some people. All right. Okay, we can do this, besties. All right, we are going to Fort Lauderdale. Okay, you're getting off work at 11.30. Okay. So, I will make sure that I'm available at 11.30. Why don't see why don't we see where he's headed first then? Oh shit, he's turning east towards the ocean. I think I can catch him if we really gun it, but now we've lost a bunch of time. Get out of the way, old man. Good, I can still see him. Way to go, Mickey. Where are we going? They said we needed to go to Fort Lauderdale to rescue Lucho. Did you speak to Lucho on the phone? What did he sound like? I did did speak to him. But now that you mention it, the circumstances were exactly the same. Heavy wind and ocean waves. Look, Ramon, I think your kidnappers have been keeping an eye on you. But besides that, I don't think they're very organized. Maybe Lucho is in Fort Lauderdale, but that's not where your money is going. This car is our only concrete connection to him. It's a 45-minute drive to Fort Lauderdale, longer by bus. If they were going to return Lucho to you, why make you travel all the way there? Right, if I were a kidnapper, I would want to stay close. They're here around Miami, I'm sure of it. He's getting on the highway and I might lose him in the dark. Quick, which exit should I take? Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we want to go to the islands, right? Is that what is that where they were? He's getting on the highway, and I might lose him in the dark. Um, I'd want to stay close. They're around Miami. I'm sure of it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, what are the clues? Um. I don't have any direct clues. Uh, on ho. What the fuck? I said, oh no. And my keyboard. <laughs> my keyboard was like, nope. You literally typed, oh no, but backwards. On ho. Oh my god. On ho. Hello? Oh no. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Why does it do this to me? Oh no. I'm just going to be saying on ho for like 10 minutes straight. Sweet. On ho. On ho. This fucking. I don't know why Twitch. Hates me so much. Why Why can I not have Twitch chat just be normal? It's fucking ridiculous. Um, wait, we want to go. They're by the ocean in the waves. So does that mean islands or la... La Sagusera? <laughs> what are you doing? You wanted my help? So I'm helping you. If you're looking for kidnappers who have an eye on the ocean, you go down to Key Biscayne. Biscayne? Biscayne's? It's private, and you have a great view of the incoming boats. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Miss Martinez. Oh. I trust him. Ramon, we go south. There's the car. Someone write down the license plate while we're right behind it. Mickey, can you stay on him? Sure, but... But what? But Key Biscayne is coming up real fast, and this guy isn't slowing down at all. Your money is headed towards the town where the rich folks live. To hide out in the state park, or to the marina at the southern tip of the island. This is my call again? Let me think. The town on Key Biscayne. Biscayne. It's small, and from what I remember, the people there are pretty wealthy. Yeah, also not pronouncing things properly, and definitely trying to look stuff up when I can, because holy shit, I do not know the words and the languages, so I'm doing my best. The island used to be a meeting place for runaway slaves. The park has a lot of nooks and crannies where it would be safe to hide, but not many buildings. And if you had a boat in the marina, you could reach, well, anywhere in Miami. It's right at the entrance of the bay, and you can see everything. The ocean, the bay, and the Stiltsville Channel in between. Oh my god. Um to the town. They have to watch the water. They've made an effort to dissociate themselves from 
the other smuggling routes. Mickey, what if the kidnappers are out on the ocean? Stiltsville, they can spot the water and the government but doesn't monitor them except to pay a little bit of rent. That's the perfect place to keep a kidnapped kid and a boatload of cash. Ha, literally. Okay, we're going to need a boat. Chelo, it's dark. That's a terrible idea, not to mention dangerous. Consuelo, they have the cash. They know the area. They can move the boy or they can remove him. Please, guys, if we're going to find Lewis, we've got to chase... Oh, hello? We've got to chase them out there and grab him now before they get a chance to hurt him. What the fuck? Mickey finds me a boat and we ride out. I'm breathless, sweeping the ocean with a small flashlight. I don't worry about how or why Mickey knows how to steal a speedboat. I just hope the kidnappers didn't know we were chasing them. I don't question when he and Ramon step into the boat. In the distance, we can see dim lights floating above the waterline, the Stiltsville houses, and the few squatters still living there. A motorboat has passed through here recently, and we follow its wake to the edge of the bay. Onto the Atlantic Ocean. In the dark. What? We should definitely not be here. Oh, there is a small motorboat docked by one of the older stilt houses. The main platform is about 20 feet above the water. Against my best judgment, I tell the boys to stay put. I climb the wooden ladder up to the first platform by myself. I pause when I'm close to the top just beneath the wooden door that must open out onto the platform proper. No footsteps or alarms. No one seems to have noticed our borrowed motorboat, but I do hear the sound of the radio news. Maybe if I'm quiet, I can get a look around before anyone finds me out. Carefully, I press my weight against the trap door. It's heavier than I expect, but I manage to lift and climb up without alerting anyone. Hello? The southernmost platform is clear. I round the corner, nothing there either. But there's an open window that I'll have to dodge in case someone's inside. I don't want to lose sight of the ladder, my only escape route. But I don't hear any heavy footsteps, so I duck down and slowly creep to the opposite end of the platform. And there he is, sitting by himself on the north side of the building, Luis Ernesto Castillo. He doesn't look injured or restrained in any way. I guess the trapdoor is surprisingly heavy, and it's a 20-foot drop to the water, even now at high tide. Either way, the kidnappers don't seem worried about Lucho making a break for it. Holy fuck! Psst, hi! We're just... Psst, hi! Hello? Why are we... Oh my god, this is so terrifying. You're Lucho, right? Who are you? Do you work for Papa too? Shh, let's be super quiet, okay? My name is Chelo, and your papa hired me to find you. He's so excited to see you, Lucho. He says, yay! I'm bored here. Can we go home? Yes, let me take you home to your papa. How sneaky can you be, Louie? I'll just copy you. That a boy. This way. Oh! Shit. <clears throat> Kidnapper says freeze. Don't turn around. Damn, I thought I was quiet enough, but this is definitely one of the kidnappers. And he's blocking off my path to the ladder. I'm unarmed, please. I'm not a threat. 
My name is Chelo Martinez, and I'm not a cop or anything. I'm a PI. Or a PD. I'm a private detective. <coughs> Should we be saying all this? What's happening? May I turn around? Not unless you want to meet my granddaddy's 12 gauge. Yeehaw! Sorry. I could chance to look behind me, but the man's voice is sinister and serious. I don't want to risk setting off an itchy trigger finger. Look, I'm only here for the boy. You and your partner have the cash already. Keep it. I don't give a damn. We just want Louis. Luis. My hands are shaking. It's fully dark now. I can see nothing except Lucho and the edge of the platform. I don't think so. Lucho, come here. Randall, we got a situation. Get off the can and help me. Get off the can. There's no time. Once I'm surrounded, there's no way I, I can get Lucho away. At least right now. I'm standing between the boy and the shotgun. Bestie, no. Lucio Duck. I got him. Holy fuck, did we just get shot? We just got fucking shot. Literally grab the kid and jump off the platform. Thank God and Jesus and whatever I gotta think. We don't gotta thank those, but um, maybe medical professionalism. Oh my God, what's happening? You're awake. Are you sure? I don't feel awake. Oh my god. You were in surgery for eight hours or so. I'm glad they gave you enough drugs to keep you down for so long. Oh my god. Jeez, is that why I feel like shit? Yes. I would imagine, I would imagine that is why, yes. Lucho, Luis Ernesto, is he okay? He hit the water pretty hard and he got a little banged up, but you took the worst of it. That redneck asshole couldn't shoot for shit in the dark. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it was a redneck asshole. That's why I was like, yeehaw, my dad is 12 gauge shotgun. So I like gave him the appropriate ass voice. Just a fucking redneck. Oh my Jesus. How did you know the boy could swim? <clears throat> I didn't. Oh. Where did they go? Ramon and Lucho. Uh, Hermanita. Or, or Hermanita. Hermanita. We don't have to talk about this right now. You just woke up and the doctors say you need to take some time off. Literally. Chill out. Holy fuck. Oh, assuming it was a weak butt shock. Okay. Butt shock? Did I just say butt shock? Weak buck shot. Probably. Probably. Oh my lord, have mercy. Please, Mickey.
We fished you out of the water. I wanted to call the cops, but Ramon said no. So I dropped them off when we got back to the mainland. I know, I know. Your stupid brother let them go, and this was your big case. And you brought your headstrong, impulsive sister to the hospital and saved her life. Saved my life. Thank you, Mickey. Wherever they are, I hope Lucho is safe. Fucking same. Hello? I have to know. I have to know if he's okay. Screw those guys. I'm just glad you're out of the woods. Okay, I should let you get a little rest. I, yeah, I think I'm drifting off. Oh, cello? Hmm. Happy birthday! What? My recovery takes a few weeks. Mickey refuses to tell me what happened to Ramon and Luis Ernesto until I'm out of the hospital. So that means something bad? Uh, honestly, that's why, I, that's why I don't remember my birthday. Fuck bad birthdays. Why would I bother? If, if, they, if they're gonna wait to tell you till you're out of the hospital, it has to be bad. It has to be bad news. Like, what the fuck? I needed to get you to the ER, but Ramon wouldn't come. What choice did I have? I dropped them off downtown. He paid to have my car washed since we soaked through the seats. Sea water, I guess, and maybe some blood. Yeah, what a birthday. Not necessarily. It could, it could just be that he doesn't want her to focus on anything other than recovering. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh my god, I'm so anxious. By the time I see the car, it's as good as new and maybe even a little bit cleaner. Strange. I'm more guilty and worried about the car's upholstery than the soreness down my left side or the fact that I might have died. Does that mean I'm tougher now? Let's find out. Richard and Lucy unlocked? What? Ghosts of Miami? Thanks for playing? What? We finished it? Holy shit! Have a good lurk, Ash. You are wonderfully fine. We finished it? Damn. Am I gonna have to play it again to see what happened to them? Oh my god. The kitties of Miami! What? So that was the end of it. That was the end. Wow. What the fuck? Uh Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that was that was this that that was my first ending of Ghosts of Miami. 
That was my first ending. I don't know what happened to the kid and, and to the guy that was trying to help. And I got shot and, and, uh, welp. Wow. What a, what a fucking game. What a fucking game. Holy cats. Oh my, well that was a, that was a whole, a whole game. Oh my god. But it said I unlocked some people as well. Um, so we're, we're gonna have to see what that does. Like, there is no... Yeah, there's no, like, resume. Okay. Wow. That is so weird. Oh, my gosh. Dang. What, what a game. What a game. That's, um, that's incredible. All right. Shoot. All right. Let's see. Let's see who's doing what. Let's see who is doing what for people that are um, following. Da 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 da. Bam 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 bam. Overview of channels. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Um, thank you for the awesome streams. Thank you everyone for, yeah, awesome, awesome streams. And everyone that came and said hi, everyone that came and said hello and hung out. Um, that's all so freaking appreciated. And you, we are going to go raid a wonderful, wonderful person named Sin. Um, Sin is a uh, badass, a badass uh, non-binary black creator. One of my favorite people, um, a fellow soybean, um, all of that, all of that stuff. Um, and Sin uses he, they pronouns. So he, they pronouns for Sin. Um, Symbiotic. Sin is, um, Sin is playing Fortnite. Sin is playing Fortnite, and we love we love some Fortnite. Um, they are also playing with Chi Chi, so this is going to be absolutely lovely. Um, there is the raid command. Um, we don't want to leave anyone out, so there's there's the raid command. Um, if you want to copy paste that, if you are subscribed, you can copy paste with the uh, Planet Hype raid with our emotes. But honestly, what we care most about, just go say hello. Go give Sin all the love. Go say hello. Um, and let's go make someone else's day good. Once again, um, it's Sin, Symbiotic, and they use he, the, or he, they pronouns. All right, bye everybody. Let's go Raiders.